hola. They know the money is coming to go. So what? Uh, you being a, a young legend that you are already and still have a lot more work to put in out there, and uh, you were part of a lot of legendary shows, uh, very young. So how was it working, man, with Martin and Tommy? That was an amazing experience, like, because, um, one, uh, Tommy was just a solid dude, really, really nice guy, like the whole cast, okay? When, when I showed up, uh, first day on Martin, it was really great. But that whole experience itself was just mind blowing, you know. Um, Martin, at the time, for me, was somebody I was watching on TV. You know, loved his characters, everything about what he was doing. I was so like in awe by, you know what I mean. And uh, to end up on the set working with him after you know watching the show, you know, my mom I used to be like, yo, let me watch Martin, you know. And his show was never, like, too risky where I couldn't watch it. My mom was like, you know, he would be a little edgy, but he wasn't over, overboard. So my mom let me watch Martin, and she felt like me being, you know, wanting to be on TV and acting, and he was a good person for me to watch. Um, and she was right, that because after watching, it, watching him, I was able to mimic him so well, you know what I mean? And I was ready when that audition came. Um, getting on the set with him. It was just lit, man, because they were just, they just, uh, they embraced me, you know. The first day was a little bit tricky, let me tell you. So it goes like this. Uh, for Martin, you know, uh, at eight years old, I went out for Martin, right? So my mom used to, like, go over the lines with me, and we would go over them, and she would, like, feed them to me because, you know, my reading was good, but it wasn't like, oh, I could just breeze through it and read it by myself. You know, at eight years old, I was, you know, getting my stuff together, you know? So uh, I was, like, able to memorize those so well. So we would, damn, memorize the lines. I'd go in the audition, kill it, you know, have it all the way off of memory. And uh, my first audition... I killed it so heavy, they went and got Martin from downstairs. It was on the Universal lot. They went and got Martin from downstairs while he was working on the show. And like, it was like during the week, during rehearsals. So they had him come up, see me audition. I kill it, body did. I knew I had it, because I looked at my competition like, you guys aren't getting this, seriously, like you can go home. Like, eight years old, I really had that attitude going in that room. I was like, oh, I'm finna book this. Like, I don't know why anybody else is here, but I'm booking this. Um, so they went and got Martin from downstairs. I kill it. Before I made it home, I had to roll. You know, they was blowing up the phone, which was like, yo, this is lit. So it was an anticipation of me being there. The episode itself was written so well, you know, that... Um, I think they were very excited, but I didn't even know that much excitement was coming around this episode because, oh, Martin, does he have a son? You know, this is a huge episode, third season, center point for the series. They're at their prime, you know, and uh, everybody was just so nice on the set, you know, very professional. But uh, table read day comes and... Right before I get there, they changed a lot of the lines. And I didn't get to do the memorization or go over with my mom. So I'm at Table Read, eight years old, stumbling through the script. You know, these new lines are there. I might have missed one. And they're just like, oh, my God, what are we going to do? <laughs> you know, so my mom's like, you know, we get through it. You know, everybody looking down the table at me like, oh, boy, you know. <laughs> And my mom's like, oh, don't worry, you know, he, he's usually, da, 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 he usually, you know, memorizes the script, and we're going to go over it, and he's going to be ready. So they're like, okay, you know, and we, we get home, we go over the lines, come back next day, rehearsal time, I'm nailing those seeds, and they're like, okay, all right, we're good, we're good, and everybody's happy, like, all right, we're back, we're back. So we're just, you know, rehearsing, we're nailing it, we're loving it. And uh, we did, like, you know, a read-through at the end of the first day, and I just, I killed it. And uh, uh, at the end of it, we were outside, and Tommy was like, yeah, he, like, throws me up in the air. You know, I'm, like, a little man at the time. He, like, throws me up in the air, and I'm like, oh, he catches me. He's like, yeah, <laughs> like, you killed it. 
Hey, that was a dope moment with him, man. Tommy was just like a really cool guy. Uh, that week itself, uh, like this week was my birthday week. Uh, uh, my birthday is October 12th, and Tisha Campbell is the 13th. And uh, they had a cake for us on set, so that was like a very memorable week on Martin. So uh, I just saw, actually, uh, actually saw um, Carl Payne, in, uh, who plays Cole on Martin in Vegas. We actually were just hanging out with Shaq and kicking it. So he's like, oh man, he was like, I had missed the reunion. I was like, oh man, I missed the reunion because they had invited me. And he was like, oh yeah, it was fun. It was, we, had a, we had a good time. Don't worry, you, you ain't missed too much. You ain't missed too much. We gonna have a good time tonight. So I was like, yeah, cool. <laughs> but yeah, it was to, to say Martin was an amazing experience. Didn't expect that show to be, you know, still transcending to this time now. And people, you know, just like, still enamored by that episode and that line, you know. Sorry, I lied to you, Martin, you know. Shoot, I put on shirts and people were going crazy. <laughs> yeah, Martin, is it's a universal show that will definitely go on forever. So I'm pretty sure people for years to come will see your face on the Martin Lawrence show through reruns and everything else. Yeah, like I didn't know, I didn't know he was such the goat at, the, at that time, you know, being on the show and just being in it. But, you know, he put so many people on and, and responsible for, you know, so many people's careers being seen, you know, through Def Jam, Def, Def Comedy Jam and uh, through his show and, and other outlets. You know, he definitely giving people huge opportunities. He's just a dope guy and a real person. Uh, uh, and shoot, he's called my phone just on a random occurrence where I didn't expect him to call. And I was like, oh, that's good looking. He like, doo -doo -doo, you know, tighten me up. Make sure you're good. Uh, 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 get this, don't worry about that. Uh, uh, you know? And that was much appreciated from like somebody on that status. Yeah. Stand on top like I'm King Kong. Yeah. Paddle niggas like a ping pong. Yeah. Run my block like I'm King Vaughn. Yeah. 